coronavirus. A SARS-like virus which has infected hundreds in China. Globally, nearly 1.5 million confirmed cases of COVID-19. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. By now, you have undoubtedly heard about the novel coronavirus called COVID-19. In nearly every country, including India, people are becoming infected with COVID-19. Some people even die because of it. To slow down the fast spread of COVID-19, Indian leaders have put the country on lockdown. Given the seriousness of the situation, we would like to answer three questions about the new coronavirus, COVID-19, in this video. First, what is COVID-19? Second, what can you do to protect yourself and your family from COVID-19? Third, what can we do together to protect our communities and society? Let's start with the first question. COVID-19 is a human coronavirus recently discovered in Wuhan, China in December 2019. Infection with COVID-19 causes symptoms ranging from a mild cough to severe pneumonia and death. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses which may cause illness in animals or humans. In humans, previously six coronaviruses were known to cause infections. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has now already spread to almost all countries in the world and there are many, many people infected. Experts believe that a large portion of the Indian population will be infected with COVID-19. Among infected people, 4 out of 5 cases develop mild or moderately severe symptoms. About 1 in 5 infected people will develop severe or critical symptoms requiring medical attention. In addition, people can spread the disease long before they show symptoms. Older people and people with pre-existing illnesses such as diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, obesity, and a history of cancer are more likely to have life-threatening symptoms. However, even young people and healthy people can get COVID-19 and die from it. Children infected with COVID-19 are the least likely to experience serious problems or death, but they can also be carriers of the disease. Now that we understand what COVID-19 is and how serious it is, let's go to the second question. How can I protect myself and my family? Because the coronavirus can spread through the air from person to person, it is important to take the following steps to protect yourself. Stay home. Since infected people spread the coronavirus, the best thing you can do is stay away from infected people. Avoid all non-essential trips. You might need to make a trip to get food or medicine. Of course, you should not meet friends, play a game of cricket, or go to the park. If you go out for an essential trip, go to places where there are few people. Stay at least two meters away from others. In some Indian cities, shopkeepers and local authorities have drawn circles with chalk so that shoppers maintain a safe distance from each other. When you go out, wear a mask. Even a cloth mask is better than nothing. And do not adjust or take off the mask until you return home. You should only touch your face after you have washed your hands with soap. The coronavirus can survive on surfaces for some time, it is important you take the following additional steps to protect yourself. 1. Regularly wash your hands. Wash them for at least 20 seconds using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub. It does not matter whether the soap is antibacterial or not, any soap will work. You can also use an alcohol-based hand rub. Make sure that it contains at least 60% alcohol. Just make sure you scrub all parts of your hands. Making sure you wash your hands after you go to the bathroom is very important to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Regularly clean surfaces with a disinfectant cleaner. Clean door handles, elevator buttons, and tables. Use bleach mixed with water, one cup of bleach in 12 liters of water, or you could use another standard household cleaner. Remember to wash your hands after cleaning and keep bleach and cleaners out of the reach of small children. Use care when handling packages or groceries. You can use a cleaner to wipe the outside of a package or groceries before bringing it into the home. You can also let packages sit outside your home for a few hours or even a day or two. Eat a well-balanced diet with a lot of fruit, 
particularly citrus fruits like oranges. 5. Be positive, action-oriented, and cheer yourself and others in your household up. Let's summarize some of the main points we have learned to protect yourself and your family. Stay home. If you have to go out, avoid other people and wear a mask. Wash your hands with soap. Wash your hands frequently. Disinfect surfaces like door handles, buttons, and tables regularly. And be careful with packages that may have been handled by someone else. We just discussed how to avoid COVID-19, but what do you do if you think you already have COVID-19? COVID-19 can have very similar symptoms or signs as a regular cold with symptoms like fever, coughing, a sore throat, and muscle pain. More severe symptoms include shortness of breath. Call your doctor for a test if you have serious symptoms, particularly if you have difficulty breathing. But do not show up at the hospital unless you cannot breathe. 2. If you know anyone who has these symptoms, encourage them to call their doctor too. 3. Only take prescription medicines if a doctor recommends it. Be skeptical of quack doctors. Don't believe people who are trying to make money by selling miracle cures. If anyone promises a miracle cure or protection from coronavirus, be doubtful. 5. Be careful of fake news. For example, you may have heard that putting oil in your eyes or gargling with warm water will stop COVID-19. These practices will not help. You can fact check fake news like this on this website created by IIT Bombay students. As they learn more, government officials and health experts will use their authoritative channels to inform us what we should do. Now that we understand how you can protect yourself and your family, let's go to the third and last question. How can we protect our community and society? Think about your best friend or an auntie or uncle. How would you feel if they got sick? How would you feel if you infected them? You need to protect yourself, but you also need to protect others. Remember, even people who feel healthy and don't have symptoms could have the coronavirus. You could have it and not even know. So what can we do to protect our community and society? The first and most important thing is to practice social distancing, which is when people avoid contact with others. You can do this by staying home. To encourage social distancing, the Indian government has called for a lockdown period where everyone is supposed to remain at home as much as possible. Another important way to protect others is to quarantine yourself if you feel sick or if you have been around someone who might have coronavirus. Here are a few points. 1. Quarantine means avoiding physical contact with other people, even within your home. On average, an infected person who does not quarantine can infect two to three other people. Another way of protecting others if you are sick is to wear a mask. Also, if you are sick, throw your tissues away in a trash can with a lid. Make sure that your surfaces get cleaned. Furthermore, it is important to let other people know that you are sick. Let people know over Facebook or WhatsApp. Do not meet them personally. Even if you are not sick yourself, you may have seen or heard about other people violating the lockdown. A lot of people often ask, why should we not go out or why should we be careful when we are not infected? It is your social responsibility to encourage other people to stay home and separate themselves. You should speak up, tell them not to do it, share information and explain the risks to other people. Some might argue that Indians may have higher immunity to COVID-19. However, this is not true. Remember that any of us can become infected with the virus, and any of us can infect others with the virus. We are all in this together. Do not send out messages that blame people or societies. It doesn't do any good. A question that many of us have is how will this end? And the only true answer to that question is that nobody knows. Scientists are working very hard to find a vaccine against COVID-19, but it is estimated that this process will take at least 12 to 18 months. If rapid testing becomes possible or a cure comes up, we also might be able to relax some of the protective measures that we need to take just now. Human beings have an incredible ability to adapt to any situation, so it is important that we continue to live our lives, even during lockdowns. It is important to be kind, 
to help our neighbors and to continue learning, loving, and laughing, to keep our spirits high and remember what makes us human.